Glam Pink Leopard Makeup Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did this relatively easy but glamorous pink leopard print face art design that, like I said, it's relatively easy. So if you're looking for something quick to do for Halloween that is a little bit glamorous and fancy looking, this would be a good way to go. And also for costuming, it's really easy to accentuate, accentuate, accessorize this face design. Um, ears, maybe a tail, you're good to go. So I'm also going to be showing you this mirror that I love. I just got it and it's got a, it's got a really nice heavy base on it so I don't feel like I'm going to tip it over. And it has a thing, a little handle here that makes it so that you can easily adjust it and tip it and angle it and however you want to without touching the mirror itself which is awesome and it's really nice if you do recording of your face designs or if you make do makeup tutorials this mirror is amazing because you can get it so it sits really nicely with your camera and it fits well and so it works out and like I said you can adjust it without having to touch it and there's a $10 off um, discount code that I will give a link to in the description box if you are interested in that and the other thing I want to show you is this new mascara here my mouth. This new mascara that I just got, it's from Bella Rose, and it's their Fiber Lash Mascara. And some fiber fiber mascaras have, uh, are, the fibers are in with the mascara itself. This one is in two separate parts. It's a transplanting gel, and I'll give you, I'll give lots of better pictures and stuff, um, and I'll put some on Instagram if you want to see comparison to other mascaras. But here is the wand, and I don't know how well you can see it in the video. It's got kind of like a peanut shape, so it's thinner in the middle and then it, it gets larger on both ends, which makes it so that it ugh, fits in with your eyelashes really well. And here is the, the fiber brush. This one is quite a bit smaller and it's more of just a regular mascara wand shape. It's a cylindrical shape. But I will give more info on my opinions on this mascara later on in the video so if you're interested in mascara also listen for that and I hope you like this design and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be highlighting my face in kind of unusual places to make it more feline so I'm going to highlight right up near my hairline over my nose and then between my nose and my upper lip and I am using white body paint to do this I'm just kind of buffing it into my skin I'm not applying it like you would normally do um, but like I said I'm buffing it in kind of and then I'm also going to do that under my eyes so I'm going to add a second coat and just kind of blend it out hopefully a little bit better and it's not going to blend super well with just into your skin there are going to be some weird lines which is why right now I'm going to go and I'm going to use a foundation the foundation that matches my skin and you can use any kind of foundation. I would recommend something that's like a liquid in, or a liquid or a gel instead of powder. I think that would probably work better. But now I'm going to be stippling this into the areas that didn't have any of that white body paint and then slightly over the areas that did. This is to help blend out between a skin tone color and the white. And I'm also going to apply foundation with my fingertips in the areas that it's harder to get really close to. So around my nose and under my eyes where that white is and over my eyelids. And applying foundation over your eyelids gives you a really nice base so that your skin is a uniform shade throughout. And so now I'm going to use a pink, a really pink, pretty pink blush. And I'm going to be applying that over my cheekbones, over my forehead, and over my chin. This is going to bring out some of that pink color that I'm using in the video that I'm using in the entire design and make it look a little bit more cohesive and like it goes together. And now with a burgundy shade, I'm going to be count contouring my cheekbones. So I'm just going to take some burgundy eyeshadow on a really nice, soft, fluffy brush. And it doesn't take a lot of eyeshadow to do this at all if you're using um, a higher end eyeshadow because they're so pigmented. But then just contour under your cheekbones. And so now I'm going to be then adding some of a really bright pink eyeshadow into my crease and I'm going to take that all the way up over until the side of the bridge of my nose that's also going to help improve that feline appearance and then with burgundy I'm going to add a little bit more into my crease and I'm really going to blend that all the way out into the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to take just a little bit of black and do that on the outer corner of my eye just to make it look a little bit darker and that's also going to give you a little bit of a cat eye shape which I'm going to then further do with some um liquid liner but I'm going to apply some shimmery white eyeshadow under my brow bone and under my eye over that white body paint and then I'm going to be tight lining my eye with some black eyeliner and then as I mentioned I'm going to be doing a black winged eyeliner or cat eye eyeliner 
and I actually am using body paint to do this. Um, if you haven't watched any of my face art videos, then you won't have, won't have heard this before, but I always use body paint instead of eyeliner. I think it's easier to use and a little bit blacker. So now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes, and then to do the Bella Rose Mascara, the first thing you do is you apply a layer of the transplanting gel. So that's this, the first step. So you just apply that to your lashes, and then while that is still wet, so immediately go in with some of those fibers, and then you apply that. And you can really do this as much as you want, I find, when I was doing it. Um, so just apply it, and then you'll see immediately that they look a lot longer. Then go through and do your other eye, and then come back to this one and add this final layer of the transplanting gel. You want to make sure that it dries first, so it's gel, fibers, go to the other eye, gel, fibers, and then come back and do a top coat. And so then you're going to be applying um, a black nose to the tip of your nose. And for the mascara, my thoughts on it are actually, I'm really impressed with it. It was kind of funny. My mother, after I was wearing this for a while, she looks at me, she goes, you know, that really did make your eyelashes look a lot longer. She was shocked. Um, I haven't used fiber mascaras before, so I don't entirely know how it would compare to other ones, but I was really quite impressed with it on its just from my experiences using it and it came off really easy and it lasted all day. Um, the one thing that I would like to mention about it is that you really have to be careful to avoid getting any of those fibers in your eye. My eyes are really sensitive so anything like that is kind of like, hey, what are you doing to me? Um, but if you're just careful and if you tap the brush, the fiber brush off, if you just like tap it against the side of a, a side of a mirror, then it'll get rid of any of the loose ones that are possibly going to fall into your eye. So I missed this part. You're going to want to draw a line from the tip of your nose down to your upper lip and then add little polka dots that are going in from the outside and getting smaller towards that line for the little whiskers. And then I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with the same burgundy color eyeshadow I've been using throughout this whole design. And now with some pink body paint, I'm going to be adding my spots. And so I'm going to be applying the spots in kind of the zones that you would use for contouring your face. Not quite, but close to that. So I'm going to do it down my forehead. Um, you always see people doing that, the number three. So you do a forward three and a backwards three. So I'm going to do basically the same thing that number three on my face. So I'm going to do that on each side. And then I'm going to go through with some pink glitter and I'm going to be applying that. And the glitter that I am using from um, for this is from ET Mineral Cosmetics. And if you'd like to know more about how this glitter is applied, there's a liquid sparkle bond and it's a really cool product. I will put a link to the in the description box that has more information on that glitter product. And now I'm going to be doing a partial outline around my leopard print spots. And when you do this, what you do is you take black and you just you can do almost like parenthesis lines or one long one long line that goes almost all the way around and then a spot. So you just you don't want to do a full circle around each one, but you just so you leave little gaps in the outline. And then with a liquid lipstick, I'm going to be applying that over the my upper lip and try to avoid getting it on your lower lip, which I I got some on there, but you can just wipe that off with a makeup remover or a Q-tip or a piece of cotton. And then fill in your lower lip with a bright pink. And you want to use liquid lipstick for both lips, especially that'll keep them from transferring color from one to the other. And it'll keep it looking better longer. And that's it. I hope you like this design. I had a lot of fun making it. And check out the mascara and the mirror links. I'll put those into the in the description box. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!